Hey guys, Skinboy3800 here once again, and today I'm going to show everyone how to get the Parsec app and how to use it. First of all, you're going to want to download it for Windows, it's available for other platforms too. Once you get it downloaded, just hit the save file button. Then as soon as it's downloaded, I go ahead and open it. As soon as it's open, just go ahead and click yes on the command prompt or activation window thing. And then it'll begin installing. Once it's installed, it should open up. Just give it a second here. And now we have the Parsec menu open. What you're going to want to do is sign up, because unless you have it already. Just enter in your email to con confirm you're not a robot. Give yourself a username. And the CAPTCHA might be weird, just try until you get it. And then once you are uh, in the Parsec app, uh, it'll give you a tiny tutorial, and then it'll want you to uh, confirm your email. So just do that right quick. It'll say, yay, thanks for not being a robot. And then you can go ahead uh, add friends who are already on it. For instance, uh, mine was G uh, Gameboy3800. You can see my friend here, he's sending me a request. And then now we got our uh, settings, client settings. Leave everything about default. Just have uh, decoder mode on accelerated, immersive mode off, windowed mode full screen, vsync off, that's important. Or lower latency and then bandwidth I just have everything here on default uh, you can change the display adapter to be uh, your dedicated one if you're running multiple monitors and stuff the account tab is where you can change your uh, picture and your uh, screen name if you want so now should be about it for settings And now we are here in the main screen. You'll see all these computers we can try to connect to. And then what I'm going to do is hit create a party, make it for Beam. I'm going to set it to private, and the approved apps will be Beam and G only. And I'm going to hit create party. Now here I can choose between two and up to eight players in total, which is really awesome. We're just going to do two for this. I'm going to click my friends and send them an invite. <laughs> there he is with the Kermit face. Now Will should see a little bell icon in the top right. That'll say he's been invited to a party. All right, and there he is. Now at any moment, he can choose to hit play. Okay, so now we're going to load up a map. This might take a hot year, so I'll just skip ahead to when we're loaded into a map. I recommend a map with uh, no cars so that the way BMG does multiplayer, it won't just instantly die by trying to assign the other player to a car that is an obstacle with no engine or wheels or anything. While this is loading, I should probably go ahead and show off that uh, if the other player does not have a controller, you need to manually assign them access to the keyboard. Just go ahead and click keyboard. So now if we ever load into this level, uh, Will can use the keyboard arrows to drive instead of using the controller. But I don't think I don't think he'll be doing that. Stop! <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, he can. You, your your friends can be a real jerk if you want to take control of a, a specific vehicle. Like if you want to get single runs and they just reset your vehicle or turn the wheel or turn off the engine while you're trying to do something. So maybe don't do that. Or maybe do. I don't, I'm not going to judge you. You're going to spawn up two vehicles. And then I'm going to assign which driver gets to drive what. 
Now, it's kind of random. The best way around it is to just invite one person to the party at a time while you have the BMG multi seat feature active, which as soon as we spawn our second vehicle, I'll show you how to activate multi seat and how to almost use it. Okay, so once we have our vehicles loaded up, I'm going to go to the options menu and go to gameplay. And then here we can use multi seat this session. Now, if I tab to my vehicle and give us an external cam so that we have a good view of the whole map, something like this, you can see I'm the orange truck and he's going to be the white truck. So this is how you do it. <laughs> right on D-pad is the reset, as you would know. Left on D-pad resets you where you are. Some keyboard functions are tied to my first vehicle. Multi-seat is not perfect, but this is how you do it. If you found this video somewhat helpful, then you know what to do. If you want to get rid of multi-seat, you just do it the same way. Uh, you enabled it, you disable use multi-seat in this session. I don't know what's going on there. And now, if you want to record like a two-wheeled skills or a freestyle, uh, someone controlling their own truck, you, you do it like this. I don't know why he's driving into the crowds, but oh well. Uh, you just, you'd need to promise to not interfere with the run. Like at any moment, I can just turn off his engine. Or reset him when he's about to do a cool stunt. You gotta promise to not do that. Although one bug we found uh, is that uh, sometimes the gears can randomly shift, and we don't know why. Uh, to fix that, you just gotta hard reset the truck. Once you're done playing the game, what you can do is just go up and click disband. And that'll disconnect everyone from your computer at once. Or if you want to just get rid of one player at one time in the party, you just right click their profile and hit kick. And that'll boot them from your computer. And then key bindings disconnect. If, if you're from, if you're connecting to someone else, you can do an alt F4 and that'll disconnect you from them. But yeah, that should be about it. If you have any further questions, please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to reset Will. Thanks, Game Boy. I'll see you in the future.